Okay. So we are looking at these four terms and we're looking for a number that divides evenly into each coefficient and constant. When I look at this, I see that I could divide out a three. Underneath each term, we're gonna rewrite it, having divided that term by three. 18y to the second divided by three is gonna give us six y to the second. What's our negative 15y to the third gonna be? Five y to the third plus just y, or you could write the invisible one if you want to show it, minus two. When we factor out, we are basically doing the opposite of distributive property. And so we're gonna rewrite this like that, or we could write it with the leading coefficient first. This term could go up front if we wanted to rewrite it, but we don't have to, so we can leave it there. Does that make sense what we just did? The only thing I can divide out of all four of these together is a three. I can't divide a y out because this six doesn't have a y. So the greatest common factor here was a three. We showed it here because we're dividing this from each term and here's what we pulled out when we, after we divided the three. Let's try it with a more complex looking problem. This can also be like what we did yesterday, where we're just looking for one thing at a time. So first, let's draw the upside down symbol, like the division symbol. I guess it's coming as five, and I don't see a five with this term but I do see one here, here, and here. So it's the first number I thought of also, but I had to say no, not five, because this doesn't have a five. I do see they all have an X though. Let's start with X. We're just gonna divide an X out of each term. That means the first one is gonna be 45 x squared, y squared, z to the third. The second one only has one x, so if I divide it out, I get y squared times z. plus 15xy to the fourth. There were two y or two x's here. We divided one out, but everything else in this term stays the same. What should the last one be then? Yep, bring down that negative sign, bring down the five, the X is gone because we've divided it out. X over X would be that invisible one. And then Y, Z squared. Does every term have a Y? So we can do another layer of our cake and factor out a Y.
In this case, the greatest common factor is x, y. And now that we've undistributed the greatest common factor, we're going to show it. like that. Mm -hmm. 